KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday morning. We got markets in negative territory pulling back from some of the highs we had just last night. You got the S&Ps down 39 points. That's approaching 9 tenths percent in the red right now trading at 44.67 nasdaq 100 off 1.2 percent i mean we're almost giving back all the run yesterday right you're talking about only about 75 points from where we were at the open yesterday you're now down 215 points from the highs we had last night you're negative 175 points on the session as i talked about in my program at nine o'clock though folks the nasdaq 100 Putting this back 10 days on a 30-minute chart, you just rose on the Qs at least, pulling up the Qs, 13.3%, folks, 13.3% from early Tuesday. You had a 12,900 handle. You just rose up, folks, 1,700 points in a 13,000-point index. Staggering move over a period of about five days. So we give back some of that today. Nothing too exciting to talk about. We're at about 14,500 right now. We jump down to come. Commodities. Talk to our man Teddy Kegstack. Crude rocking again up about $4.50. You got gold up as well, $13.1935. And we jump to notes and bronze when the market has a little bit of a reprieve. We're getting a reprieve in yields as well. We got the 10 year right now positive by seven ticks. You got the 30 year positive by 15 ticks. And we got the VIX this morning back above 23 to 2362. Finishing up uh, on some of what I was talking about during my program, let's check in on some of the stocks that were moving. You had Adobe with their numbers continuing to dive off 7.8%. General Mills was out with their numbers going the opposite way, up 5.3%. Some of the meme stocks added again. AMC up 4.6%. Excuse me. GameStop, the original meme stock up about 11% right now. And to finish up some of the articles, so day traders finally retreat after staying firm amid stock route. Interesting action. So according to Bank of America, whose client flow showed individuals were net sellers of U.S. stocks for the first time this year, they dumped more than $800 million of shares last week after pouring in almost $8 billion since January. When they sold last week, that's the question. Uh, last Tuesday, we were at lows. By Friday, you were a lot higher. But nonetheless, we'll see how that plays out in a big way. And focus on those fixed income uh, funds, folks. 11%. Uh, that is the Bloomberg Global Aggregate Index benchmark of government and corporate debt total returns. 11%. 2.6 trillion. Be careful in that fixed income market. Stay tuned, folks. The we'll be right back. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. 